Greetings guys and gals, my name is Fat, and welcome back to our Gothic 3 merely only- Wait, what is that? Wooden shield. We'll take that. Welcome back to our Gothic 3 merely only playthrough. Last time we finally got the permission of all of the smelters. Or was that two parts ago? I don't quite know. Well, anyway, we did something in Nordmar. We did some things in Nordmar, and now we actually have ten more learning points to spend, and I have no idea where to spend them at. First of all, let's pick up all of these booze bear. A goblin. A goblin, would you look at that? Not any goblin, a black goblin. Let's kill the goblin first, alright? And that's it for this part. I don't hope you enjoyed it, and no. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Anyway, let's look, uh, let's see how many quests we still got left in Norma, right? So no quests in the Wolf Clan, but only 54 reputation, which still is kind of weird. I have no idea how to get the other 54 reputation. Maybe there are orc camps nearby that we need to clean out to get some reputation there, but I'm not sure. Hammer Clan. Making booze with Ugolf. Yeah, the ore for Ugolf and Tumble Rumbler. Tunnel Rumbler. How much ore did he want? 50 ore. Yeah. There's no way we already got 50. We got 44. So we are pretty close to that. <gasps> Sorry about that. And the power of the ancestors. Now I actually think we are going straight to the monastery now. Just so we can say that we have at least visited all the location in Nordmar. So let's first go to the... Yeah, to the fire clan and then up to the monastery. So I know that we all also still got the quest for the um, uh, fire clan to... Uh, clear out a certain orc patrol, but we will do that later. Now where's actually... Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Smart boy. Thank you! Now where actually is the pass to the, uh, to the monastery? It can only be... Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I think that's basically the only uh, uh, location where it could be located. I'm sorry if my English is, seems a little bit spotty today. It's uh, the first part I'm recording today and I was... Um, I'm not really into the language yet, <laughs> so uh, sorry about that. If I blather about some nonsense or make very many, <laughs> if I make many mistakes in a grammatical or vocabulary fashion, I am very, very sorry for that. Oh, that's right, we already killed the goblins. So there were some wolves there. What's down there? You know what? Let's see what's down there. Is there actually anything? Yeah, more goblins. Would you look at that? <laughs> I don't want to fight you goblins. You're not protecting any chests. You're just making me waste valuable potions. So I won't fight you. I'm sorry about that. I do not consider you worthy to fight me. So I think the monastery is up there, right? Yeah, monastery. Alright. Monastery. Alright. We got a little lag going on. I don't like that, but... We'll have to make do, I guess. Oh, what is that? One wild berry. Don't mind if I do. Ah, yes. Oh, there's an ogre there. Do you protect anything, Mr. Ogre? Or are you just chilling with your buddy? You're just chilling with your buddy. I won't kill you then. I mean, what do I get from that except some experience? And the, the inevitable knowledge that I have just killed a chilling ogre and his buddy. Send them both to Belia. That's not worth it. Alright, so that's the pass up the monastery, and I actually think there's nothing in the way of us, right? We still need to go to the Tower of Zardas, or Zardas' Tower. Wow, oh, look at these stairs. They're so frozen. Alright. Pyron. Pyron? Pyron. Greetings. In the name of Enos, Wanderer, you are our first guest since, since the new maid showed up here. It's good to see a fresh face for a change. The new mage, of course, is Lester, right? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I am watching for the Chosen One. Master Altus said that he will come. He will save us. Well... <laughs> I am the Chosen One. Stop it. You don't joke about things like that. I am sure the Chosen One will come. I'm not joking though. I kinda am that... I know I don't look like much, but... I am the Chosen One. I will show you. I wasn't joking around. Alchemist. Alchemist, do you sell stuff? Yes. Show me your goods. What do you sell? Ooh, potions is good, I take. Alright. Oh, look, I didn't even know that there was a potion that can transform me into a swamp lurker. I always assumed that there was just the, uh, the lurker one. I love the soundtrack, man. Alright. 
Let, let's let's sell him some stuff. We could use some gold after all. Always, we can always use some gold. Who are you, novice? Wow, you get you really get into town on that log there. Fire mage. Let's get up here. Careful to not slip. Halt! None shall approach the sanctuary. Nobody. Nobody who doesn't have permission from Master Altus. You know, your outfit is kind of revealing for that kind of temperature, my friend. But whatever. <sighs> Alright then, Master Altus. So you're the one I have to prove the two that I am indeed the chosen one. Where is he? I like that they are all doing chores. Like, like <laughs> they're not your cliche mages just, just chilling on a huge throne of magical items. No, they're just, you know, sawing logs and uh, sweeping I don't know. Enos be with you brother what are you doing here well what sweeping are you doing I guess. here research before this incident with the runes I used to be a master of transformation magic and now I seem to be nothing but a simple peasant these days but rumor has it that there are other ways of transforming oneself many what have you heard I heard of people who are able to change even if they are not magicians just imagine yeah, if I can I do, that. do that too, then <laughs> everything would be like it used to. Well, we could do that with the druid stones, right? But we can't because melee only run. What do you what need? What do you need? Have you ever heard of druids? Kinda. No. Nope. <laughs> they have a stone that gives them power. I need such a stone. Yeah, I will get you. I mean, I got such stones. I will get you such a stone. That is great. What? Which one? I wouldn't do you need? survive for an hour out there without my magic. You're a lifesaver. Which one do you want? <laughs> I have stones, right? What's in it for me if I help you? I what can I give him an one? ancient book from the library. There isn't much I can do with it. I will give it to you. You can draw lots of ancient knowledge from it. Well, I'm not interested in that, but whatever. Where can I find a druid? There is a hunter with the wolf clan. His name is oh. Bogir. I am sure that he is a druid. Oh, he wants his druid stone. What right. is it? Oh, we have company. Are you? No, that is impossible. Is Although, it though? That hair, the nose. <laughs> what? It's really you. <laughs> I must apologize. I had pictured you a little different. So wait. So wait. 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 Wait a second. So you are able. To determine that I am the chosen one by my hair and by no by my nose, so that means there's a pretty detailed description of how the chosen one looks looks like, right? So how can you have imagined me different, then? How? All right. Well then, I want to pray to I want Enos. To pray to Enos. The chapel is open to you at any time. I kind of don't want to do that though. I'm kind of more of a belly guy, you know. I have brought some fire chalices. Ah, Milton will be really pleased about this. You should take them directly to him. But Milton is your superior? I thought it was the other way around. Well. I will. I hope I... This means I officially got the permission of Altus, right? Well... <laughs> I really should ju just stop jumping gaps. All right, we can just walk past this guy. Milton, my friend, where are you? Long time no see, my friend Milton, the fire mage. And for some reason, green bushes, even though we are still in Ordmar, which is kind of weird. Ah, there you are. I've been wondering when you would turn up here. Well, here I am. How did you get here? With Olivier, the paladin. I met him in Mertana. He told me about the monastery and the fire chalices, so I joined him. Maybe I wouldn't even have made it without him. Why? Were you expecting me? You have a talent for it. Great things may come to pass in this place. Therefore, you couldn't be far away. That makes sense. What's going to happen here? I don't know. But now that you are here, I am more convinced than ever that something will happen here. <laughs> Once, Enos descended yeah, to our world in this place. Perhaps he was only waiting for you. Could be. No, it is so. I am sure of it. You are more important than you think. Just consider everything we have experienced together. The sleeper. Oh, yes. The dragon. 
All of that was no coincidence. The memories. What else? Fate. You have been chosen by fate to change the world. Alright, so we will not talk to Enos, of course. We will talk to Belia. And how many fire chalices are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm counting twelve. Alright, how many how many do we have at this point? Anyway. We got eight. Alright, that means there are still some missing. Now, um we won't do anything here anymore. Uh, because I don't know, like, I don't know the dynamics. Like, if we go and uh, speak to Belia now. Um, so, basically, those are our choices. Uh, Inos, Belia, or I think Zardas is uh, the third choice. And we will do the Belia way because it's the most difficult one. And, well, I want to give you some entertainment at least <laughs> before we end this. And, um, so, yeah, but I don't know. Uh, once you speak to Belia, it could be that the relations to... Uh, the fire mages, the rebels, it could turn. I don't know that, but I don't want to risk it. And that's why we have actually uh, postponed speaking uh, to one of the gods directly. Now, where's, act where's actually the, the teleporter stone? It's in the library, right? In the library, there's always also a demon situation going on, so we will solve that. Olivier. Enos be with you, brother. And with you. What are you doing here? I am praying for myself and for my brothers. Many of us paladins have turned away from Enos and lost their faith. Not you? No. For me, it is a test. A test of faith and resolve. With the help of Enos, I shall pass this test. Alright. Can, can you teach us to fight? Can you teach me something? I am an excellent fighter. Alright. Would you teach me how to fight? What fighting skills are actually missing by now? Shield parry and parry with a shield. Alright, so only the shield stuff, right? We got all the other uh, sword skills. Yeah, except of course the two blade ones. So I still want the orc slayer one. Wait, we don't have large weapons too? Oh, that's large weapons three. Sorry. What do we need large weapons three for? God damn. Additional damage. Heals wounds. That's that would be the best kind of. But I have no idea who actually could teach us that. If you could learn that somewhere, that would be very cool. But I don't think we will meet the one <laughs> who teaches this to us. I mean, we could, but it, I'm I'm very certain that there's only one person who can teach you that. Can you teach me something? Can you teach me something? Oh yes. Probably just magic stuff. I studied stuff, right? lots of ancient books in order to find out the secrets of magic, but it's yeah. hopeless. I understand the theory, but my spirit is simply not strong enough. I can tell you about this long-forgotten knowledge if you like. Yeah. Teach me something about ancient magic. What does this guy teach? Light armor. Learn staff fighting. Staff, staff, staff. Show me how to use magical staves. Staffs? Really? That's how you write that? I had no idea. All right then. Enos be with you. And what with is you. it you seek in the library? I want to fight a demon, because I know there is one. I am looking for an artifact. What kind of artifact? A ring. It was brought north from the desert a thousand years ago. Hmm. No. Never heard of it. Maybe you can <laughs> find something in the Chronicles of Dominion. Yeah. Let me guess. I'm going to go down there, look into the Chronicles of Dominion, and we'll summon a demon. Could that be Inostian? Oh, that's so cool that they actually named it. Sorry, I'm <clears throat> I am kind of freaking out about that. It's cool that like like Christian is named after the after the Christians and after the Christian faith and after Christ himself. So Inostian is basically the same, but with Enos, and I like that. Welcome, brother. Times are tough, and much tougher still here in the north. Yeah, I noticed already. Uh, already, I noticed already. All all the people here have lost their hair. That's something. It must be very cold on their heads. You're not from here. You're not from here, are you? No, I come from Mertana. Geldern, to be more exact. Oh. I fled when the orcs came. I found a new place to stay when I came here. Can you sell me something? I can't offer you much of a selection. In cool. Nordmar, it's hard to find the necessary ingredients for potions. But what I have, you're welcome to buy. Do you have Show me potions? your goods. Yes, five potions. We're going to add... We're even a potion against diseases, wow. You were really underselling your stuff, I tell you. Alright. Going to take all of it. 
Now, can you teach me something? I would, but unfortunately, I barely have enough supplies for myself. What do you need, guy? I don't have any leftover for an apprentice. What should I go get so you can teach me? Um, perhaps some mana plants? We could really use them here in the monastery. How many do you need? Fifty would be great. Oof. I'll pay you for them, too. Fifty? Damn. I will get the plants for you. So oh, now we have a problem. Excellent. <laughs> because I never oh, collected I find it those. too dangerous out there myself. I'm glad I made it here in the first place. Yeah. So how many do we have? I never collected these because we never needed them because we don't need any mana. Alright, so we got 20. So I have to keep in mind that we need to collect them from now on. Now where is the access to the library? Oh, it's right there. I was just too stupid to see it. The entrance, not the access. That's what I've meant. Ooh. So if I remember correctly, we summon a demon once we read out of the chronicle thingy. It's very dark in here. Ooh. You know what? An open fire in this kind of library nearby those many books? That's not a good idea. <laughs> Trust me. I mean, you're you fire mages. You should know that, right? But open fire nearby so many books? That's just, in general, not a very good idea. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm no mage or, or something and I have no idea in ancient knowledge. You just need to know something about fire and about books. And that is that they burn quite well. I'm looking for the teleporter stone, by the way. So, just if you wondered. Hey, it has a... It has its own soundtrack, I just noticed. Listen to that. I like that. In the beginning, the nomads roamed the land, and the eternal wanderer led the way. Sorry, just felt like reading. So this this torch here, man, this is this is dangerously close. Holy heck! Are you crazy, guys? Can I open this? You know, someone will probably notice, right? The chronicles of oh dominance. It's not even dominion. It's dominance. All right, here we go. Let the demon fighting commence. Akasha had orders to hide the last artifact in the temple, and the waters raged as Akasha looked on. And the temple sank beneath the surface, and Akasha wandered north, until he came to the huge mountain range in Eternal Ice, and he founded a clan, and it was the clan of the fire. And there we are. <laughs> what up, demon boy? Oh, they are also skeletons. I can hear them. Damn, demons are kind of weak, man. Wait, there's no way he's as strong as the one in Goth Gotha, right? The one in Gotha was way weaker, right? Demon horn, healing potion, 1d5, <laughs> 51 coin, and a mana potion. That's nice. I'm going to put that healing potion to good use. Alright, and many skeletons. So the mages don't actually help us, because why would they, right? It's not like it's their library or anything. It's not like they ordered me to read the chronicles. But whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Totally fine. I have no problem with that. I mean, luckily it's just skeletons, right? Not zombies or anything. We can easily deal with some skeletons. Ah! <laughs> Damn. I said I can easily deal with some skeletons and I stand correct hey demon how you doing boy All right, so you know what we're, we're going to open this chest now if someone complains I don't care where is it chest 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 I want to open you all right so what is in here Ooh, three vials Oh, and it's a teleporter stone, so you're actually supposed to open that chest. I actually thought because it was because it was so obvious that I actually considered it to be a trap. <laughs> but whatever. Oh, even more skeletons. Alright then, come on, come on, I've got enough for everyone. I love how the, the mages just don't care. <laughs> I also love how, how none of the mages is actually in the in the library. So what are you doing the whole day, man? I, s I thought you were researching. No, he rather sweep, sweep. He's rather sweeping the ground. 
instead of instead of actually researching within the library. That would be too easy. Maybe they're just too afraid that a fire breaks out while they're in the lower levels. I mean, there's no way you can get out here, man. That's a major violation of, of uh, fire safety. Now I yeah I know. Now I know. No how one the noticed. Ring came to the north. <laughs> Akasha, a warrior of the ancient ones, brought it all the way from the desert to here, Nordmar. Oh, interesting. Does the book also say where to find the ring? Perhaps. Akasha was buried here, along with his ring. So you were looking for his grave. Go to the Fire Clan. Their warriors are guarding the cave tombs. If anyone can help you, it will be them. You know what? Two things. One, I think it is a incredible, an incredible coincidence that the book was already on the exact page we needed to read. Don't you find that strange, Dargoth? And second of all, who's the janitor here? Because he has to clean up a lot of shit in there. I mean, bones, swords, arrows, giant demon body, you know, the usual stuff. I just want to make sure he gets paid appropriately. <laughs> Jesus, man, this monastery is a mess. You call yourself mages. Wise man. What are you even doing, huh? <laughs> Alright, anyway, so that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that you will be there in the next one. And until then, have a nice day, have a nice night. And of course, as always, have a nice time.